no choice. Okay, the girls and boys make all that noise. How's it on the toys? This is big schoolboy Sandy Breakin here. Well, sorry, Tom Brown. Tom Brown School Days. No, Tom Red. Today I'm Tom Red. Tom Red School Days. And this very excitable little uh, pet dog that the school very kindly lets him keep here. Uh, only on Sundays, though. It's just a temporary dog. Oh, she, sorry, Lola. And, of course, our very reliable, if slightly immobile, weakly immobile, Dunce doggy here. I was going to try and balance the Dunce cap on Lola, but thought the chances of it staying on. Without the aid of gaffer tape, which is slightly cruel to doggies, might be a little bit uh, unrealistic. So, oh, you're very, you're very, you're very excited today. You know what? Since she's so mo mobile today, since she's moving so much, as much as more than she moves than every other show put together, I'm going to give her little um, quirls, baker squirrels, supplied by Davy English, poet of great note, who, who always does wonderful poems on the show. Ah, I should have printed out another one of his ones he did for last week's show. Brilliant. Uh, yes, baby popped these round last week, but it seemed like a month ago, but it was only last week before the show began. Yeah, Lola's probably moving because she's probably roasting because it's absolutely burning up here in um, Edinburgh. If you're from elsewhere in the world where I understand it's minus 10 in South Africa at the minute, um, that's unbelievable for my mother-in-law who lives in Johannesburg. And uh, unbelievable if it gets down to 12 or 13, never mind minus figures, it's considered cold over there. So. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're suffering while we are scorchy old yet again. How long is this weather going to last for? It's been amazing, best summer ever, I think. Anyway, I've got a nice red handkerchief to mop myself down, matching matching my uh, red uh, schoolboy outfit. Now, um, I was actually doing another another real gig this week, unbelievable, up in Inverness under canvas, which was, as the name suggests, under a big tent uh, outside the front door of Eden Court, and um, the thing they did a couple of years ago. Obviously didn't happen last year, but they got us back up this year. It was myself and Charlie McKerran on the fiddle, and uh, Brian O Hidabo, Brian O'Hara on the guitar and the old uh, vocals, uh, uh, a lot of which were in the Gaelic. It was lovely. It was great to play with the guys again. Great to play in front of an audience again. Wow, twice in one twice in one week, just about. So I was down in uh, Shropshire the other week. 
fantastic place him to be. Anyway, um, it's all going well. It's going well. Long may it continue. But I thought I would play you uh, part of or most of the set list from that gig, just because it would save me thinking about what to play today. And uh, nice selection of tunes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, here is the uh, the cracking set that begins with uh, Firla Strasbase, Boggan Lochen, and the layer of Thrums. Thrums is in Aberdeenshire. Um, little town. And uh, I thought it was just a made-up name originally, but no, it's a real place. Thrums. Uh, it's like it's like Strums. Next to the town of Strums is Thrums. Uh, and uh, that's followed by a couple of reels, Ian McPherson's and Alexey McGregor's, named after two people, neither of whom I've ever met. <gasps> oh yeah, it's roasting, isn't it? It's roasting. Hang in there, hang in there till the end of the show. Uh, okay, goes like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
considering halfway through I realised that I would have to do all the lead parts instead of some of the harmony parts which, uh, and other things which I normally do. So anyway, came off surprisingly well considering I'd forgotten all about that. Yes, arrangements. <laughs> Yeah, when you're just on your own, you can't do arrangements really. Well, you can do a little bit of arranging, or rearranging. That's what I was doing. That was a rearrangement. Um, I'll just pull this down a little bit so that you can see the accordion, just in case anybody's actually interested in that. I'm not sure if anybody actually watches the show for the accordion, but it's more for the, the costumes and the, to see what the little dog's doing, usually turning her back in the audience. <laughs> like she just said, oh, I must have something very tasty in my hand. Made a cheese toasty earlier today, just because one of my lodgers had found the cheese toasty machine in the cupboard and taken it out and used it and cleaned it uh, very efficiently although I did realise when I was about to put it back it turned out on its side and all this water poured out of it so I must have thought that you were able to clean the whole device in the sink no, you only you take off the little tray things and you wash them so I had to dry it out anyway I thought I'd just check that it wasn't going to explode so I turned it on and it was working fine it didn't explode but then I thought it would be it would be churlish really to not make a toasty with it now that it was working just to check it check it that stage further take it to the final stage I made a toasty, which of course fell apart in the middle, and I realised why I hadn't used it for many years. Um, but it was delicious. It was a delicious toasty, even though it didn't seal properly. I don't know what the problem with that is. I think the little clip on the end is broken. Anyway, toasty, if you've got a toasty at home and you've got some good toasty advice from me, or you can recommend a new one <laughs> to buy with the massive, massive profits from today's show, um, uh, then please let me know. Right into the address below. Uh, <laughs> now, what... Uh, what what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, well, I was going to do the entire set from uh, the other night. Yeah, so this is McCarran Duke and O'Hara. This is all from our new album, by the way, which is still not out. The cover's almost down. In fact, we were, that was the first time we've been able to get together, all three of us, for a year and a half. So um, we got some pictures taken while we were there by Ian's daughter, Ro. And uh, I think the preview did not look done yet, but um, they felt good. They felt good. So uh, that, that might be the new front cover album. <laughs> Photo from the green room in uh, Eden Court. And. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a, uh, another one that we played, but it's called Lechele, Lechele, by the way, which means together. Lechele, two words. Uh, it's Gaelic, by the way. Uh, oh, I, I, sp I spack the old, I spack the old Gaelic. Uh, well, a wee bit, anyway. Beckham. Uh, yeah, this is called uh, Each Little Thing. It's by uh, Steve Cooney. I think I've played it on the show before, but not as part of the official Karen Beacon O'Hara set. Uh, Steve Cooney, who's from Australia originally, but now resident in Ireland. Great uh, player and uh, composer. Each little thing. Beautiful, beautiful tune. I'll have to do the whole thing again. Normally it starts with a fiddle. Oh, it's all down to me in the end. <laughs> Thank you. 
each little thing. Great scene. Just turn that around a wee bit since the dog's not doing anything anything anyway. Uh, now the great thing about oh there she is jumping into action. Right, we'll give her a cheese strip for that little bit of movement. Plus she doesn't have to do much in this show to get her order, does she? Uh, I know what you're saying, I'm too soft. <laughs> I'm not a runner though, I'm just a neighbour. <laughs> oh yeah, she loves needy strips. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, thank goodness today's costume is actually includes short trousers because uh, it's absolutely roasting. Although it could be a little bit shorter, which is why I've put on my uh, tips thing, uh, tips for shorter shorts. Because it would be a little bit like this, the even color. Uh, Anyway, thank goodness. I don't know what I'm going to wear next week. Will the Olympics still be on uh, in Tokyo? Will they still be running? I mean, um, in a week's time, probably, yeah. They last for about 10 days, will they? Or is it more than that? Uh, anyway, if they're not cancelled by COVID, uh, I could, yeah, I could dress up as some kind of sporty type, uh, uh, an Olympic table tennis player. That would have been a joke a few years ago, but I think, that, I think you can actually do Olympic table tennis now. Uh, you've probably been able to do it for years, you, you table tennis fans will be telling me. Uh, oh, speaking of tennis, Andy Murray's out. Injury pulled a pulled a uh, pulled something. Uh, <laughs> is it a hamstring? No, pulled a muscle. Pulled a muscle. Yeah, uh, he's getting old. Poor old Andy. He's getting past it. Hey, tell me about it. I know what past it means. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of live gigs, as it was a minute ago, um, I was actually doing another live one uh, out in the Boardwalk Beach Club yesterday. At Silver Now, it's wonderful. Another another fantastic day. That's the fourth gig I've done there in a month, and it was a, the fourth absolutely cracking sunny day there. Uh, absolutely beautiful. The tide was in this time, which was a little bit more dangerous. I felt slightly threatened that the waves were uh, only 15 metres away from me, rather than 500 metres, which is where they were for the tides out for all the previous gigs. But anyway, despite that obvious safety concern, uh, I didn't have my beach uh, lifeguard uniform on me because I was dressed like this. That's where the fatal photo came from. The fatal photo came from yesterday, if you saw it today's advert in the Boardwalk Beach Club and uh, yeah I didn't have my life, lifeguard uniform so I wouldn't have been able to save myself had I been washed away by a particularly big wave had one blown in but it didn't anyway so it was all fine. Right it's time for some more tunes. <laughs> this is a, a, a wonderful uh, pipe tune jig called Cork Hill and it's followed by a not so wonderful tune written uh, by oh no it's a very wonderful tune sorry I thought I was going to say one written by me no, that's another set. Uh, this was written by the fabulous Gordon Lincoln and it's um, Pitlochry High School Centenary uh, one of my all-time favourite tunes, and that is followed by uh, I Laid a Herring and Salt. Wow, what a title. You just can't get better than that. I Laid a Herring and Salt. What's the chances of laying a herring? Never mind into salt. Right. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I was in Pitt and Weaver on Friday night, uh, doing, a, doing a little job for a friend, and uh, I was treated to a meal in the Dory, which is an amazing restaurant. If you've never been there, you should, well, you have to book up two weeks in advance. It was just lucky we got a cancellation. It was unbelievably good luck. Uh, but it's uh, it's booked up two weeks in advance. Fantastic uh, restaurant, fan, fantastic fresh seafood. and Oh, everything's just amazing. We won't taste food like it uh, anywhere else, I don't think. Uh, the Dory, D-O-R-Y, you know the name of the little fish. Um, and it's on the, the high street in uh, Pitt and Weem, on the East Nook of Fife. It's a beautiful place to visit anyway. Uh, absolutely amazing. It's no cheap like, but it's, uh, it's well worth it. Uh, anyway, back to what I was doing. Yes, laying a herring. That was a mackerel I had there, not a herring. But anyway, it was a lovely mackerel. And it was stuffed. It was stuffed. It had been eaten. It, it looked like it had been gorging itself on on fresh herbs before it was fished out of the water. Because it was full of, uh, its innards was full of fresh herbs. Maybe the chef did that. Okay, how does this one go? Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
find it a wee bit weird. Well, think about it. Weird than anything else I do. I do harmonies on that as well, but luckily I remembered not to do them. Uh, I've got some messages coming in there on the phone. I, normally I can't read them because it's too small, but today my eyesight seems to be working a little bit better. It's weird that some days it's better than others. Hello there. Do you want another little cue? Another little cue. Uh, yeah, so I saw a nice uh, message from Jill Dufresne there, who is the very friend that I was out doing a job for in uh, Kitten Dream. She's saying it's a Dory Bistro. So I almost got it right. The door, I just called it the Dory. That was good enough. The Dory Bistro. 
and uh, yes, and thanks for fixing my stair. Well, yes, no problem. I was out there to fix the gate and um, some other little jobs. And uh, meanwhile, the entire staircase was falling off, um, as I discovered. Uh, so luckily, I was able to repair that by lying on the ground and kicking up beneath it. It was one of these staircases that you can go underneath, kicking up beneath it and bat it with one foot and battering it in with the other foot. Uh, uh, well, that was, that's how I started doing it. I had to go and get bigger things to batter it with, but eventually managed to get it back. But the entire staircase was seriously in risk, at risk of falling down. Who knows, the whole house had possibly held up the staircase. It might have collapsed, so disaster averted. A lovely meal on the dory as a thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I must fix some more staircases. And another message from Margaret Montgomery just before that, which has disappeared now, but I, if I remember right, it was asking for the barren rocks of Aden. And yes, I can play that for you today. Uh, the other one, I think, was Blow the Man Down or something. I don't know that one. Uh, but I can, do, I can certainly do the barren, the barren rocks of Aden. I just can't pronounce it properly. I'll do that for you right now, actually. As soon as I've had a mouthful of coffee. Yeah, I was just remembering my school days there because I'm dressed up in this ridiculous schoolboy costume and um, never had to wear a hat, but the uh, costume was not, not the similar, I suppose, well, there was bits of red in it. Uh, and uh, yeah, remembering at uh, school, the, the big thing in school was to make, you know, if you were being naughty, I, was, I wasn't really into it, uh, although I think I did do it once just to kind of join in, but it was, I, I think I got caught for it, actually, I got detention. It was the only time I ever did it. But it was to make spitballs and um, you, you, you got a little bit of paper and you chewed it until it became really like sticky and horrible. I mean, but not good in a COVID environment. Uh, it wasn't very nice then either. And then you get your ruler, ruler in this drawer here. Your average ruler, which was often used as a weapon by the teachers. Right, back in the days, then were the days when corporal punishment, bring it back, it's fine. Ow! Uh, yes, you get your little spitball, and um, I won't add the spit, but I'll just get a little bit of paper to show you. And you chew it and chew it and chew it, and then you would, um, you would glo glob it onto the end of your uh, your uh, ruler, and uh, oops. Yeah, see, there wasn't that problem about falling off when it was chewed, because it would stick, and uh, you either whacked on the back of somebody's head, or, or uh, the best thing was they, these high, they had these high ceilings, and they went, whoosh, and go, and be stuck up there for years. In fact, uh, you, can go and visit, you can go and visit the football collection on the roof of my old school. <laughs> right, Baron Rocks of Aden. Oh, you are roasting. Have a little drink of water. Have some water. Have some water. <gasps> no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Went down from the cooking, the cooking site in front of the window. Yeah, slowly roasted Boston Terrier. Delicious after a show. Uh, never mind the dory. I cook my own doggies. Okay. Uh, Baron Rocks of Aden. To another one there, but thought, thought better of it. There you go, Margaret. Yeah, that was the uh, Baron Rocks of Eden. Uh, are you okay? Don't choke, don't choke. Uh, would I have to pay the bet bill if she choked on my flat? No, let's hope we don't find out. Uh, okay, we're going to play a little selection of tunes called Waiting for the Federals. Uh, and the, there's another set from Karen Breakin and O'Hara as MBO, as we abbreviate it to. Just too much of a mouthful. And uh, it's um, Waiting for the Federals, One Good Indian, and The Lost Girl.
and sit there. Oh, how are we doing? Time for a little twirl. Give us a whirl. Whirlers. This show is sponsored by Whirlers. Whirl with. It says backwards, no doubt. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Ah, a moustache. Go compare. Go compare. <laughs> she likes them. Yeah, I wonder how you all these tiny bonds that I got bought that she didn't like. They're just rotting over there in the corner. Uh, I might eventually throw them out in a couple of years. That's, that's the way things roll around here. Funny smell eventually. And go find the old bones. The old bones, throw them out years later. Uh, something very exciting now because um, I started I started the show with a song. And I'm going to, well, possibly end up the song because it's almost time up. But uh, certainly I'm going to sing you another song. Ha ha, you thought you'd escaped only one song today. No, ha ha ha. Because... <clears throat> I actually just did the, I, le I seriously learned the um, School Day for Summer in about five minutes of the, just before the show started. So we've forgotten about that. But um, I was spent ages this morning working on <clears throat> baggy trousers, but it's actually really hard and I'm not even sure I've got it. But So I warn you in advance. Uh, okay, right. Let me just get, let me just have a little work through this because it's been a, it's been about an hour since I last tried it and I've got, I've got School Day for Summer in my head and it's really hard to get the other song. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That's, that's a good start, right? <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Just don't want to. Just don't want to make sure I start. Okay. Right here we go. Naughty boys in nasty schools had masters breaking all the rules, having fun and playing pools, smashing up the word work rules. All the teachers in the pub passing round the ready rub, trying not to. It's a little bit. Um, what's his name from uh, George? George Seagal? No, what was his name from uh, the uh, chimney? Mary Poppins? Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, uh, never mind, it's my best uh, it's best impression of South London accent. Uh, oh, here we go again. All the teachers in the pub passing round the ready rub, trying not to think of when the lunchtime bell will ring again. Oh, what fun we had, but did it really turn out bad? All I learned at school was how to bend, not break the rules. Oh, what fun we had, but at the time it seemed so bad. Trying different ways to make a difference. Make it make a difference to the masters I had enough today. All the kids have gone away. Gone to fight when next to school. Every time that is the rule. Sits alone and bends his cane. Same old backsides again. All the small ones tell the tale. Walking home and squashing snow. Oh, what fun we had. But did it really turn out bad? All I learned at school was how to bend, not break the rule. Oh, what fun we had. But at the time it seemed so bad. Trying different ways to make a difference to lots of girls and lots of boys, lots of smells and lots of noise, playing football in the park, making push bikes after dark, like he tries his dirty shirt, pulling hair and eating dirt, he just comes to break it up, back of the end with a plastic cup. Oh, what fun we had, but it did, 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 did it really turn out bad? I had a bit of a stutter and did, 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 did it, yes it did. did, 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 did that's all folks, no one person, it's not, it's not all folks. All I learned at school was how to bend, not break the rules. Oh, what fun we had, but at the time it seemed so bad. Trying different ways to make a difference in the day. Try that one. That's much harder than it looks, by the way. Um, well, maybe I made it look hard, but uh, it's actually <laughs> the melody sounds really simple. But it's not madness, brilliant. I don't think I quite appreciated them at the time. I, I liked their stuff, but I wasn't like you know totally into them. 
wasn't doing that for most of my school career, like the Madness Magnus fans were. But um, they, they are brilliant, musically fantastic, genius, and uh, just really pumping music. Still on the go, they're still together, it's wonderful. Yeah, so we're still together, Lola, what a team! It's like, it's like the two Ronnies, <laughs> like Little and Large, the Crankies. Yeah, you're Jimmy Cranky. Oh no, I'm dressed as a schoolboy, I'm Jimmy Cranky. Oh no, that's terrible. Yeah, I'll have to do the Crankies one day. I told you my friend John Sampson, uh, who appeared in the Marks and Engels show a few m a month or two ago, has actually actually recorded on the Fan Dabby Dozy album. Yeah, yeah, forty years ago. Fan Dabby Dozy, John. Uh, right, okay. Unfortunately, that wasn't quite the end. Uh, the bitter end that would have been. Uh, so we've got one minute left. I will play. I don't think I can get through an entire set, but um, what, what else do we do? Oh. Uh, oh, I can give you ah, right, lace bob and man. I'll do. It. Okay, here's the last tune. <laughs> Bob and Bam by uh, Simon Bradley. Uh, that's normally followed by uh, Cabin Potholes, but you'll have to wait till another instalment next week. Maybe I'll start next week with Cabin Potholes. Never mind, it's time to go and cool down this doggy because we are very hot now after that show. That was a, that was a pretty hot show. Yes, yeah, hot in so many ways. Thank you for watching, folks. And uh, uh, if you've ever been a schoolboy or a schoolgirl, You'll know how difficult this show was, how hard it was to squeeze back into those old uniforms and become that young schoolboy again. But we managed it. Well done, us. Uh, where's the little bounce cap gone? Oh, it's gone off. Right, let's see if we can just practice, uh, uh, try and wear the little bounce cap just before the end of the show. <gasps> I knew it. She's terrified of the bounce cap. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Yeah! Oh, God. Never mind. On that note, goodbye. Well done, well done, well done, my little doggy friends. Yes, another excellent show, yeah. Okay, right, well, never mind this. We have to go on with our homework, yeah, because we've not finished it. It's late again, it's late. Got our hand in our, hand in our work. Where is it? Oh, there we go. So, okay, I must not, I must not waste time playing the accordion when I should be studying to do something proper with my life. Oops, got the pencil. Uh, have I got an eraser? There's one over there. All work and no play makes Jack a naughty boy.